More than half of Ontario adults are now fully vaccinated. That confirmation coming from the province today. The vaccine rollout is going so well that there could soon be a ramping down of the mass vaccination centers. And all of this comes as data shows the shots are working. We want to ensure that even more Ontarians can benefit from the protection of a two-dose summer. It's full steam ahead when it comes to vaccine flowing into Ontario. Five million doses of Pfizer and Moderna are expected by the end of the month. Supply is so good that for the first time, the Toronto Congress Centre's mass vaccination clinic is now accepting walk-ins. I feel relieved now and now I can hopefully start enjoying all my family and everybody now. So it worked out great. There has also been a dousing of Delta variant hotspots over the last three weeks. An additional 772,000 doses have gone to 10 regions and the spread appears to be stabilizing. Many of the cases we are currently seeing are from people not yet vaccinated. And here's the data of the nearly 30,000 COVID cases reported over the last month. Just over 83% or about 24,000 people had not received any vaccine. 15% or 4,600 had one shot. And just over 1% or 350 people were fully vaccinated. Those are known as breakthrough cases and the province says they are extremely rare. Which shows how important it is to get a vaccine and get protected. And efforts are being made to keep this momentum going. Our government is working closely with public health units, community organizations and other stakeholders to address barriers to vaccination. This includes targeted strategies such as mobile clinics, dedicated clinic days for youth and town hall meetings in multiple languages. But we could soon be running out of arms to vaccinate. By the end of August, there may no longer be a need for mass vaccination centers. The health minister says there eventually will be a transition to more family doctors and pharmacies to help target the remaining population. We know at some point our hospitals will need to go back to their usual businesses, that some of the places where we have the mass vaccination clinics now, which are in arenas and so on in municipalities, they will need to use them again as arenas. So while physicians have been important throughout, they will continue to be even more important as we reach a steady state going forward. Tomorrow, the province will be providing public health units with socio-demographic data of those who have been vaccinated. This is meant to help regions plan a more targeted rollout. The information will include things like race, language and household income.